You know, I get on these social media apps every day and more and more and more, I keep seeing these stories of Gen Zers having complete meltdowns. And it's not like I'm actively searching this stuff out. I, I'm not, it comes across my For You page. It comes up as recommended posts. And it's just becoming more of a common theme that is happening here. They're just losing it. And it's really, really crazy. We're gonna talk about it in today's video. Welcome to the Mind of Moon Dog. Maybe you've seen this viral video. Maybe you haven't. We're gonna take a listen to it and break it down. There's a lot that she throws in through it, throughout all of this. So I'm gonna just play it in little excerpts and then jump in to address the crazy points that she's trying to, you know, validate here. So let's jump into it. All right. I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying. Correct. You are already. We're off. Hey, at least she admits it right off the bat. Not even three seconds in, and she already says essentially what the, the bigger thing is. You're being annoying and over dramatic. But this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college, and I'm in person. Notice how she says I'm in person because already she would rather be working from home as your first job. You know what I mean? Like that's something that more experienced people, people in working for some period of time, you know, years in at a, at a, at a job probably have the benefit of, uh, post COVID. Uh, but you know, you want to get hired and then just be able to just stay home and just work from home. It doesn't happen like that, man. Not, not in most cases. And I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. Welcome to like what it's like. I, listen, I'm in Chicago. When I would go to do my radio show and drive into downtown, the heart of Chicago, that was always an, uh, an hour ride from which I was only really 20 minutes away from, but because of all the traffic at rush hour, it's just, it's part of how it works. Unless you live a block away from where you work, you're going to have a commute time. And if you live in a major city, this is just the cost of doing business. It's just how it is. Now, do I like it? Absolutely not. It drove me crazy. I hate being in traffic. I'm sure we all hate being in traffic, but it is a reality of like life. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Maybe you could take public transportation. Maybe it shaves off some time, you know, whether or not you're down for that. That's at, at an individual level kind of the decision there, but already complaining about, you know, the commute. Okay. Everyone has to deal with that. It's, you're not, it's nothing out of the ordinary. You're not special. So it's not just a you thing. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table. Yeah. Let's decode that part. You can't live in the city. What she really means here is I can't live in that penthouse suite overlooking the city downtown or whatever area, you know, whatever uh, fancy area where, where, you know, it's the trendy place to be. Let's be, let's keep it a buck. That's what it really means right here. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really is. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it would, it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here. Like I get on the train at seven 30 and I don't get home till like six 15 earliest. And then like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower, eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like I don't have energy to work out. Like that's out the window. Like, come on, man. We, this, these are excuses. I'm sorry. I'm not cutting her no slack. None. That is excuses. Excuses. If you set up a schedule for yourself and if you have the discipline to follow it, you can have the time for all of it. It is basic time management skills. It is basic discipline, self-discipline skills. I'm fortunate enough that I learned these from being in the Marine Corps. It was instilled in us. Obviously, I understand that this is not something that is taught. It's something certainly you don't, you're not born with. You have to learn these skill sets sets here. But for her to say that I get home and then I, I, I'm too, I, you know, I can't cook. I can't, you can meal prep. Do I have to write it out for her? Find a gym that's by your work. So when you leave work, you can walk a block to the, there's gonna be a gym nearby, go work out and then go home after that. That way, when you get home, because here's what happens when you get home after work, it's easy to be like, I'm good. I don't want to go get up out the sofa anymore. I'm done. But if you leave work and go immediately to the gym, do your thing. Traffic probably dies down quite a bit too. So that commute is not as bad. Then you get home and you've been productive. And if you've meal prepped, now you've gotten home, you've worked out, you eat something that's prepped and it's probably healthier than ordering Uber Eats. And boom, you're good. It's not that difficult. I'm so upset. Oh my God. 
had nothing to do with my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office nine to five, like if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home. And like, like people that drive to the office, like it doesn't, you don't get off at five. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer, but like, I literally get off. It's pitch black. Like I don't have energy. How it gets dark at five o'clock now. It's <laughs> like that's just the time period that we're in going into winter fall and all that stuff right we moved the clocks which by the way daylight savings time is trash that's why it's dark so early and i get it it brings on a lot of seasonal depression in people i i get affected by it it throws off my mood and stuff when you're in the dark for more hours in the day than you are in the sunlight it i hate it but I, again nothing she's saying here is out of the ordinary for the vast majority of people i've worked corporate work as well granted i was in entertainment it's a bit different than a super structured you know i was in a more of a lifestyle corporate situation but i still had to do all the same things i had to find the time to get in the gym i had to find time to try to eat something healthy it didn't always work out that way a lot of times but you know you make excuses for yourself here how do you have friends like how do you have time to like meet like a guy i don't know like how do you date? have time for like dating like i don't have time you date on the weekends what what are we talking about here again if you schedule a date on a f thursday evening then you would set your schedule up the days leading up to it to allow you to go out and do that you would plan around it like these are basic adulting skills and a gen zer who's losing it about how do i function how do i do it oh my god like this is crazy this is listen i'm not even really blaming her this is a real uh issue with the parents who are what uh a gen xer presumably a gen xer maybe a baby boomer parent god damn y'all failed these kids y'all really did fail them by uh, uh coddling them their entire life didn't teach them any of the skill sets they need to survive in the world it's a reality of it it's not perfect i wish that there was differences it'd be great if we had four days for, uh, off of work and you only work three there's so i'm not saying that the system is great but it is what it is and we have to work within it until something actually changes but god damn did gen x and baby boomers uh boomer parents fail the young millennials and these Gen Zers, 100%. It's just scary to see what happens when the Gen A's, which are the little kids now that grow up and as they get into teenage years and adults, how they react to the realities of the real world. Time for anything. And I'm like so stressed out. And I'm also getting my period. So that's why I'm all emotional. But like, that explains am it I all. so dramatic? It's fine. Yeah, you're so dramatic. I, Let's just go take a look and see what the internet had to say because again, everyone had to chime in on this. So this comment says, oh my God, poor baby has her first job. Like she has to commute, like she has to cook dinner, like no time or energy to work out, like she's working in person, not remote, like she has to work nine to five. What? <laughs> hey, well written, man. But I, I, I mean, He's true. He's mocking it, but it's true, bro. This is what people have been doing uh, for generations now. Again, that's just how our system is. It is what it is. Another comment here says, what's the point of being so mean about this? It really does suck when you're fresh out of college, have no money and have to commute for an hour and a half to get to work. We should all acknowledge that sucks. Why are you making fun of this woman? Capitalism sucks. Capitalism, listen, people can feel a lot of different ways about it, but it's put us in a situation where we are, you know, the number one superpower in, in the world. Uh, we as a society, as a whole, not while not perfect, we are thriving and we are very fortunate to have a lot of the comforts that we have here in America. That's just a reality of capitalism. There are ug ugly parts about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I would argue that it's done more good than it's done harm. Uh, another one here. Why are people cooking her for pointing out that nine to five work structure is broken? She's literally right. She's not literally right. She did not complain about the nine to five in and of itself in terms of like what's going on at work within that nine to five. She just said that because you work nine to five, I can't because she lacks the skill set to be disciplined 
and have time management skills. She her her whole gripe here is not about the work. It's about well, I can't figure out how to live the my my life outside of work. That's not that's not our, an us problem. That's not a problem indicative of the nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Any reasonable adult will come up and work on that stuff. You want to go date? You can still date. You have the evenings to go on a date. You got the weekends to go on a date. You know, what are we talking about here? All this one says, I understand her frustration and can sympathize. Going from college lifestyle to nine to five plus, uh, nine to five plus commute each way and being broke. It is a high stress change in life and the cost of housing and everything else is just making it difficult. Part of the problem is radical feminism and our economic policies forcing young women into this situation. This is a really interesting take. There's a lot of layers into it. Let me break it down. Um, I understand the frustration to sympathize. I understand the frustration to an extent. Do I, I don't sympathize for the reasons I already touched on. I'm not going to rehash that. Uh, going from college lifestyle, uh, nine to five uh, plus commute each way. I mean, what do you really expect here? Yes, there's going to be a bit of a difference going from college to a 95 corporate gig uh, of any sorts. There, there's certainly a culture change. There's an expectation change. You're an adult. There's no more, oh, skipping classes kind of thing. You better show up or your ass is in trouble. Um, and being broke, sure. It's a high stress change in life. And the cost of housing and everything else is just making it more difficult. The reality is, and I believe I saw some studies that more and more college grads are living at home with their parents a lot longer into like their early thirties or late twenties, early thirties because of, you know, because of the housing. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with it because the reality is the housing is so jacked up. You know what I mean? Any decent parent is going to allow their kid to come back in so they can get themselves acclimated to a, the workforce as they've now entered allow them to stack their bread up and give them a, a leg up in life i think that's totally fine i think that's just a part of the reality of it now so you, you'll see more and more mid and upper 20 year olds still potentially living at home uh so that they can get themselves off the ground long term and, and so that's just how it is going from college to um the workforce and then trying to get a home or an apartment, like that's a lot. That's a lot. And and a lot of pressure, especially in these economic times and with the housing market the way it is. It almost seems like a recipe for disaster for most people because you got bills. You got to start repaying on your student debt. It's a lot to take on. The last part here, let's talk about this. Part of the problem is radical feminism in, and our economic policies forcing young young women into the situation. I think this is very telling here. There are many other videos coming out as well from women in general that are, are essentially saying, yo, uh, this feminism stuff, like who really voted for this? Because I didn't, because why do I need to go out here and slave away at work all day? I would rather have a soft life with a husband who's going to provide for me. And it's, it's a growing sentiment amongst women. <clears throat> There's like a, a real divide growing amongst women as a whole. When you ask them about, you know, their thoughts on feminism, has it been overall a good thing? Because now it's led to you having the, the right to work. And now you are actually having to work. And a lot of women are like, yo, I don't, I don't really like this. So there's that one part of the radical feminism aspect of it too. And our economic, uh, economic policies, we, it's, we are getting to the point, even if women didn't want to work and didn't have to because of feminism, right? For what they fought for. Let's, let's say we're in a world where, um, most women still want to stay at home, mom it and, and, and do that, which is a thankless job. It's an amazing work and it's selfless work. And I, give the utmost respect to any woman that uh, stays at home for any amount of period of time um, because it, it, it is, it's, it's thankless work and it's an important thing to do to raise children and a family. Absolutely. But let's say that that's a situation, even if feminism wasn't a part of this, we are at a point economically in the country where women would have to go back out because even men aren't earning uh, the, the dollar they're earned, it doesn't hold the same weight as it did back then. So you have to have, and I think generally speaking, two income families at this point, like moms is going to have to get out and work some kind of a job to contribute to some of these bills because it's just not great for the vast majority of people. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the uh, maybe upper middle or upper class for, for middle class and below, it's a grind and it's all hands on deck. Everyone's got to pitch in kind of a situation here. 
I, I mean, I see it on, on, on my block, so many single family homes that have multiple family members, like extended family living all in one home. You know, uh, aunt and uncle might live in the top floor. Uh, you might have another group of family members that live in the basement. Then you got the homeowners that bought the place that live on the main floor and they're all contributing to it all because it's, it's becoming that kind of a situation here for housing prices and the economy. And so with that said, I don't feel sorry for her or anyone in this situation here. That's a Gen Z -er that, that feels like this because you have to learn some important, uh, skill sets to navigate adulting. It's not going to change. I don't believe this, this will change nine to five is here to stay. Many, many employers have started to pull back on the work from home. You know, some would allow you to work from home. Now they've canceled that and they've gone back to a more restrictive in office thing at best, a hybrid where they only let you out of the office for two or maybe three days out of the week. But a lot of companies are reeling that back in because they want you back under one roof so that they can have control and watch what's going on there. Let's not jump into all of that, but it's going to get back to what I would say is somewhat of a normal pre COVID uh, before it, it changes into some different kind of a situation where you're not there from nine to five. That's what I think about this whole situation. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come to the live streams. It's always a good time. Live reactions, conversations, and all of that. The link to my live stream channels are down in the description. Come follow me, and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.